All right, time again for another buoy tent update here at the trailer. Uh, today was the epitome of what this season has been like, and honestly, kind of what it seemed like last year was too. We get these just short little windows where we see a lot of action, but then we lose the fish or the fish just stop biting. And it's really, it, it's frustrating, of course, but it's really interesting too, just to have these great bites and then boom, it's done. And that happened again here today. Now, uh, first off, I started the day at 6 a.m. trying to get on that first light bite, but the current was already running and it was kind of tough. I was trolling in neutral and reverse, trying to get my line angles back down where I want them because when I was in forward, the line angles were scoping out way more than, than I wanted to. It, for example, I needed to get down to 50, 60 feet on the line counter just to tap bottom in 25 feet of water. That's moving a little bit too fast. And that goes back to what we talked about uh, a couple updates ago where the surface current is moving at a different speed than the current at the bottom of the river. And so by trolling in neutral or reverse, I could drop my line angles down and actually fish effectively and not tear up my baits. But even though I tried all those things, we had one short bite and that was it. Um, then pretty much the entire fleet sat around and waited for five hours for the tide to flip. There was just really no bite at all on that outgoing tide. But we have smaller tides here these next few days, so that outgoing tide should become more productive. But today it was still moving just a little bit too fast. We're trolling at five, six miles an hour on the outgoing tide right now, and that's that's moving pretty good. Those fish are hunkering down, trying not to get sandblasted by all that sand down here in the lower estuary of the Columbia River. So... Hopefully, the next couple days should be excellent. In fact, from here until Buoy 10 closes on Thursday, it should be excellent, excellent fishing. We saw a lot of new fish come in. There are some coho around, which is great. Um, it is definitely not a red-hot bite. You would think August 21st, we'd be killing our kings right off the bat and be done back at the dock by 10 a.m. every day. That has not been the case. Um, these fish kind of seem to be just flying through, and that be that may be because there is... Uh, lack of a thermal barrier and I I could just be making that up honestly but it seems like the water temp is a couple degrees cooler that shouldn't make too big of a difference but the fact that these fish on the incoming tide are just flying by so quick maybe they don't need as long to stage up in the estuary as they have in years past just conjecture but um, tomorrow I'm going to try the first light bite again we'll see but when the tide did flip today on that incoming it was great whether you were in Chinook, Iwako, Hammond, Bowie 20, the guys above the bridge. I mean, it was everyone I talked to for like a half, half hour, 45 minutes. It was just lights out bite. It was awesome. And then poof, gone. And then we we're all back to searching again. And then there were little tiny micro bites at Hammond and then on the Washington side of the church and then going up above on the humps up above the bridge. So there are all these little mini micro bites that took place. And if you're in the right place at the right time, you got them. And fortunately for us, we got all of our kings today. So that was great. Uh, no coho for us, even though it sounded like just about everybody else found some, our boat didn't. <laughs> but tomorrow's a new day, and I'm going to cross my fingers that that first light bite works. We'll see. But now, time to go watch Game 3 of the Blazers. Go Blazers. Man, we need to get this one. We'll see. All right, guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Later.